Hi everyone, recently the question on how to validate if um, two fields have the same piece of information such as a serial number or something like that. So what this customer was using was uh, two text fields like this and they built, um, they were working on a solution by using um, a rule like this, check the fields, if I can spell fields. So what we'd say is text one uh, equals and then press insert because this is a free text area where you can't select controls with a drop down, but you can insert them. So form controls, text two. And then what they were doing was saying, well, if text one, um, put a description. Let's say, please um, make, I think I've got a, there we go. Um, please make sure this field is not the same as text two. And then you come in and do an inverse, what we call an inverse rule, which is then clean it up if it's if it's not equal. So we go ahead and create that rule. Now, if we come to preview, straight away the error message shows. And it's it doesn't really make sense because I haven't done anything yet and it's telling me a description there, but I could still press submit even if the if the data is the same in both fields. So it's not really going to stop me from putting Ewan and Ewan and it's it's just going to let me submit because this is only description. So what I can actually do is go back to rules. I'll delete that rule for a moment. Uh, let's just turn that off and go back to preview. Yep. And um, now I'd go and add a submit rule. So a submit rule is pretty similar, but it's its behavior is slightly different. So we'll call this check the fields. I'll do the same thing. Test one, uh, text one is equal to insert uh, form controls, text two. Same thing. However, now what we're going to do is put validation messages on both of these fields. And a validation message um, is going to, let me just check the messages. It's actually going to stop me from submitting, which is a really important part, because if you want the two fields to have unique data, you want to stop them from submitting. So let's go ahead and create this rule and go to preview. And so nothing's showing up yet, which is the first big benefit of using a submit rule. Now, if I put you in the first field and you in the second field, I click away, nothing happens yet. Only once I go to submit, it then says, okay, these two fields have problems. You need to go and fix these problems. Now, the moment I go and fix this up and I put, well, I'm gonna put Jeff in the first field, click away, it automatically val removes that validation. So the user knows based on their feedback that something is now fixed and correct. So that's the way I would actually check if two fields are the same and you want to actually stop someone. Hope you find that useful. Let me know in the comments. Cheers.